Hi, uh, my name is Justin McGuire. Um, this video is for the uh, Gene 402 Making of a Christian Leadership class, uh, week eight. Um, I'm going to be going over um, my interview with Michael Yurout um, for the week seven assignment. <clears throat> uh, so Michael Yurout was the subject uh, for my interview, um, and he is the lead graphic designer for a nearby advertising company. So essentially he is a manager to some level. <clears throat> um, I had plans to interview someone else, uh, but that fell through. Um, so a friend of mine had told me about Michael, and, um, and I think it ended up working out even better, <laughs> to be honest. Um, he's doing exactly uh, what I'm pursuing for my degree, um, so it was uh, nice to be able to pick his brain and uh, hear what he had to say about his job. <clears throat> um, I met Michael, um, or I met with Michael at a Starbucks uh, nearby, um, and, uh, when I had met with him, it was like kind of busy, uh, kind of like Sunday afternoon, um, type of meeting. And, uh, I just remember him being, um, kind of soft spoken, a little shy. Um, uh, but he was, he was very nice and, you know, he answered <clears throat> everything that I, uh, had questions about. Um, so he was able to, um, help me with the interview process. Um, you know, Michael, he had a lot of qualities that um, I, I believe that you pronounce it as uh, Kuzes, uh, or I'll say Kuz, and uh, Posner. That, that's how I'll say it. <laughs> um, so they, had, they touch on, <clears throat> uh, in their book, uh, everyday, uh, everyday People, Extraordinary Leadership, um, just different uh, aspects regarding leadership that are essential for being an effective leader. Um, from what I gathered with Michael um, is that he does try to foster an open community with those that work under him. So he's very accommodating to them, very nice, very uh, sweet, and tries to make himself open. Um, <clears throat> and he tries to encourage everyone that he speaks to. Um, so like he was just saying that, you know, like some, some people have struggling figuring out what works and I try to nudge them in the right direction um, without being too critical. Um, and with that being said, um, there were some things that I had gathered and even based off of what he had admitted to me, um, <clears throat> just based off of the stories and experiences that he shared that he had a problem with conflict. Um, and I believe in a uh, Kuzis and Posner's uh, book, um, specifically the challenge, the process area, I feel that is something that <clears throat> uh, Michael Yurout uh, struggled with um, and continues to struggle with, <clears throat> uh, specifically uh, referencing that area in the book. Um, the uh, sees the initiative to improve paragraph that says uh, people generally cling to what's familiar. They can be slow to adopt new systems and processes um, and traditions that are often sacred. Um, doing better than you are doing now requires to, um, to challenge the process. Uh, this is not about challenging just for the sake of change, but change for the sake of something better. Um, so I think when it comes to you know giving suggestions, Michael seems to be in a good spot. But when it comes to possibly critiquing things to a point where it, it might hurt someone's feelings. Um, that's something he's very guarded about. And there are instances, I think, where, you know, that may happen for the sake of, you know, the project working out better. Um, I don't know. That's just something that I think uh, I had suggested to Michael that, you know, uh, Kuzin Posner say that, you um, being able to challenge those ideas is, um, you know, good for the sake of uh, making something better. <clears throat> and, you know, I think I saw a lot of myself in Michael, too. Um, I'm generally a pretty soft-spoken person and um, I'm resistant to any <laughs> type of conflict, really. Um, going back to my initial post about leadership, um, it pretty much aligns with what the book says. Um, it says that you need to encourage those around you and be open to new ideas and be kind, um, things like that. And uh, <clears throat> I've never held a leadership 
position in the workplace uh, per se, but I am a dad, um, so that has a lot of uh, leadership involved in it as well. Um, does require me to be patient and to voice my concerns, and um, I do have to handle conflict, and I need to be flexible and willing to change things if necessary. Um, so I do feel that this course has taught me that uh, we all have the, the ability to be a leader um, to some capacity, whether it's in your home or at your job. And uh, to do so, you need to not be afraid to take the leap and to, um, to, uh, to just not be afraid of conflict and, and things of that nature.